the thing which um, uh, sort of started me off to think about talking about perception is actually it always comes from the sutta. It's always a discourse of the Buddha that is most of my inspiration in my monastic life. Uh, and this particular sutta caught my eye a few months ago, a few years ago. Uh, and in this sutta, the, the Buddha or Venerable Sariputta, there's a couple of different discourses. Uh, the suttas are the discourses of the Buddha. Uh, in this discourse, uh, uh, Venerable Sariputta or the Buddha says that um, it is to, to, it actually is a question to the Buddha. The question is, who becomes enlightened in this world uh, and who does not become enlightened? Or if you like, who awakens in this world uh, and who does not awaken? Uh, and Venerable Sariputta replies uh, that the person who awakens is somebody who is able to understand uh, these perceptions lead to decline. Uh, these perceptions lead to standing still. Uh, these perceptions lead to, lead to uh, increase or to distinction or to um, higher states of mind. Uh, and lastly, these perceptions lead to uh, like uh, knowledge or deep understanding. Uh, penetration, I think, is the word used in this particular sutta. In other words, penetrate to proper understanding of the Dhamma, of the teaching of the Buddha. Uh, and reversely, conversely, is that the person who doesn't understand that these particular perceptions lead to decline, standing still, uh, to increase and to penetration, will not attain Nibbāna, will not actually become awakened. Uh, and that's all it says, the whole sutta. It, all, it says that this is all it takes to actually reach awakening in Buddhism.